There's the horn and the twins are on their way. Remember, both twins have to get to the top to grab a flag and qualify for the final round. The other two go home. I'm being double. And okay, once again, Fatal, they're twins. You guys have to share everything, right? Share some foam. <laughs> yeah, it's spread the mayo evenly. This is going to be a big sandwich. We got double the meat here. Vane still confuses foam with mayonnaise. Double down. Here we go. Two to time. Everything's mayo to Vane, Jay. Don't worry. I've got him. And I thought it was confusing to figure out who's who before. This foam makes it almost impossible. Someone's messing with Vane. And someone just went for a slide on his axe. Hey. Stop communicating to each other mentally. I can feel your way. Who needs the top of the axe, not Vane? He just shoved on our James right down the ladder with the axe that is now a stick. OK, I think it was James who gets the shove that takes out both Marwa and Elhem. Oh, and I guess Anna, too. Let me introduce you to my little friends. What are those? Kook's caustic cousins. Not what Rain or Jared was expecting. Kook saved the cousin specially for the twins. Which one of you is the evil one? I am! I'm for the evil one! I knew it! Ellen was the evil one! Seriously, how can you tell the difference? Uh-oh! Fatal, look up how I do! It's, it's the Balls of Doom! Massive green game changer here! Oh, there's two! There's twins! There were twins! Twin Balls of Doom! And down goes a trio with a little help from Rain or Jared. As you can see, Rain or Jared gets a push from Koo, so Rain or Jared reaches over to take out Marwa and Elna. Whose side is Rain or Jared on? I've got some beautiful twins up here! Two bouncing baby boys! Release the twins! I was wondering if we might see Frank and Felix. That has to be it for the Balls of Doom. They're still Craig and Chris, but I think they have the day off today. Who continues to be relentless with the Pokey Pike? And why not? One extra poke and he sends Marwa or Elham directly into James or Anna. Vane is looking outnumbered. And remember, his axe is now just a stick. But look at what Coop can do with just a stick. Attackers have had trouble with him all day on the ladder. I always wanted a sister, like someone exactly like me, but then I thought about it, it's like, I don't know if the world can handle two fatals. Twin fatals? Talk about the perfect world. Easy, buddy. You just get your heart broken twice. True. Marwa or Ellen with the thumbs up to the Zuka cam. Fatal continues with the major foam spray as Rain or Jared goes for a bumpy slide back down. Now Vane sends the other twin to join him at the bottom. Bye, Rain or Jared. It's time for these attackers to get serious. Bye, guys. I'm hungry. What? This can't be real. But Vane's always hungry. I mean, he can't be leaving in the middle of a battle. Looks like it's very real as Marwa or Elam has made it to the top, but remember, they need both twins to claim a flag. Come on, Fatal. One of each twin has made it, but it's Marwa and Elam who are the first to earn a flag. And a trip into the final round. Right behind them, though, Rain and Jared. <laughs> We're all friends here. That's right, we are. Right, Maddie? Sure thing. Medieval with the wind-up. <laughs> See if Koo can do the same, and he does. Mediva with the spin move. Through the legs. As your friend, I advise you to step back. Mary doesn't take Koo's advice, and down she goes. Oh, they're making new friends, how cute. <laughs> Friendship test, what's your favorite color? Hope it's green, or was that blue? Koo's got someone lined up. It's Taylor. Kyle tried to catch her. No chance, as Taylor goes for the slide and spin combo into the grossness. Kook's battling Mary. She's fighting, and Mary isn't giving in. Well, she wasn't, but now she is. And she's not afraid to take out another attacker along the way. Here comes the purple plague. The attackers are trying everything to hold on. It's only a matter of time, Jay. Eventually, everyone succumbs to the purple plague. First person to get to the top gets to be my best friend. Oh, what a prize. Who needs the flag when you can have that? So you'd rather have Kook as your best friend? Uh, no. I'll choose to believe that, Maddie. Bad choice. Check out Kook dashing the friendship chances of two attackers at once. Well played, Kook. These attackers won't let up. Eventually, one of them has to break by Kook, right? No guarantees, Jay. Kook is as tough as they come, and Connor just found out. I love that he's so happy on that slide. Fatal doesn't want Connor to be without Mary, so the Pokey Pike does the trick. Fatal sorted her out. These guys are the attackers. Y you want to meet him? Oh, my bestie wants to meet you guys. Wasn't that generous of Coop to share his friendship, Jay? Pretty sad when your friend is an inanimate object. It's a pool of friendship at the bottom. It really was. At this point, one of these attackers has to step up and grab a flag. Yeah! Yeah! That's my best friend, you guys! Their only chance is if the defenders suddenly decide to leave. 
Here we go, all six attackers are up on the lonesome ladder. As long as all three defenders are up there too, no chance. The attackers keep pushing, and Koo keeps pushing them down. Okay. Looks like Wyatt has a shot. Come on, Mediva. He doesn't let her bother him, and Wyatt is the first to the top. Um, where's Koo? He was called back to the nest. I don't like it. I can tell you who does like it. Kyle for one, and I guess me for two. What a comeback as Mary and now Connor are the first to qualify for the final round. And now here's Taylor to make it two teams moving on. Things would have been different if Kook was there. 